Hey, what's cracking? What's he at? Right there. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yep. Hey. hey. All right. Okay, so listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley in a tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hoping. Yeah, after the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right, the masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we're on part 13 of GTA 5 and we're doing Blitz Play. <clears throat> and what would what we have to do with Michael, Trevor and Franklin, they're going to steal a truck. Well, not a truck, they're going to rob a truck. That's going, I think, to the Union Depository. So we're on our way to Cypress Flats. And getting everything, getting the booby trap, well not really, yeah, it's a, getting the um, trap ready. So drive this there. Alright T, I'm in position, what's the ETA? There they are, incoming. Get ready to do your thing. Yep. All right, Mike, move it. That's the thing. What we got to do? Get moving, Em. Block, Block the road. So yeah, that's the idea here as well. Blocking the road. There we go. That's what we have to do. Block the road like that. Did Public Works change their schedule? And then I think, yeah, and Franklin just has to drive the um, security truck like that. I think that's a reference to a film. I can't remember. I know it's to a film, but I can't remember the name of the film. Come on, fit the sticky bar. I'm doing. Ah, oh. I'm trying to save the sticky bombs for later. Boom! Everyone out, let's go! On the ground now! Move it! I yeah, now we've ears. got these hostage. Clean out the van, I got the guard. The alarm's been tripped. The cops will be swarming here in ten seconds. You better run! Shut the fuck up! Come on, good to go! You hear all them sirens, dog? Looks like they hit their panic button. Half the LSPD incoming! Yep. Yeah. Now what we gotta do now is shoot the cops. Right, and now let's get over to hey, where this barricade is. So we'll have to alternate between Michael, Trevor, and Franklin. Trevor, only use Trevor for the um, helis. If any cops get up, 
Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, gotta be careful here. So yeah, we... Trevor can be handy up here too. Right, there's a guy up there. Hey, when we bailing out of here? Hey, we clear. Guys at the front, look at. Okay, we need to be Franklin. Okay, yeah, this is all we're doing: blasting the crap out of the police, while flipping. We're being. Ambush from all angles. Right, Trevor, we need Trevor. Right, now we need Trevor. To Franklin. More police. Yes, this is a long and tedious thing here. Right, we gotta get into the garbage truck, into the trash, into the dump truck, and um, get the hell moving. And now we go to the getaway location. Yeah, this is a good mission though. I like this mission. Just get away from the um crime scene. Well, not really a crime scene, but where the police will last look, will last were. Don't want to draw attention, you see. Going past Lester's house. Hi, Lester. Bye, Lester.
upstairs to get away location over there. In. Now we get out of the garbage truck, the garbage truck. <laughs> we destroy it now. Getting our getaway vehicle, whatever it is. Oh, they fugitive. And where do we go now? I think that's it, right? That I think it's a mission passed, isn't it? Nope, not yet. Everything cool? Yeah, man. Shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Oh, got a little bit of level left. Wow. Oh, we're going to meet Devin Weston ourselves. Whoops. Ah. Okay. Wow, look at that house. So you're gonna drive into me. Yeah, this is Michael's car that he'll be using until uh, Jimmy actually gives it him back because he can't drive it. Okay, here we are, Devin Weston's house. Got a package for Devin Weston. Package for Mr. Weston. There you go, pal. Yeah, and I'm telling you that I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom, so long. Devin Weston's playing Call of Duty Mobile. Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. <laughs> I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. <laughs> I'll let him know you're in Pencil neck. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up with Solomon Richards? Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Yeah, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Yep. Michael's got himself a new contact, and we will be doing that mission anyway. Mr. Richards in the next part. Right now. Come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. 
Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or Just animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. Lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> okay, now we're doing the mission, Mr. Richards. And now we've got to go see this guy in East Los Santos. He's a guy called... Rocco Pelosi. Rocco Pelosi was a character in GTA 4, The Ballad of Gay Tony. He was a loan shark. He was one of Tony's loan sharks because Tony was in debt in that game. So yeah. And now he's postponing this movie what Solomon wants to get out in screen. Out on screen, I mean. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right, I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. So yeah, Michael is now working with a owner of a movie studio called Solomon Richards. And now we're doing a little errand for him, in a way, to prove ourselves, I think. And he automatically becomes friends with us anyway. Reverse. Still can't drive. Here we are. East Los Santos. You know <coughs> okay. okay. Here we are. There's the helicopter.
You reach the helipad without alerting Rocco. Okay, I think I remember this one. We get to beat him up at least. So what we're we doing? Playing hide and seek or something? Way do we go? Up that way? Let's have a look. We've got two ways we can go anyway. Ah, here we go. Up this ladder. And that was pretty easy. I don't know how I was struggling. You're going back to set. Club ain't open, Snowbird. Oh, there's Rocco. Who's this jackass? Hey you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Bring it on, you fag. Sorry, I'm not a homophobe, I'll tell you that. I just... Not a big fan of Rocco Pelosi. I'm strangely excited. Come on, bring it on, big boy. Don't die on me! Come on, then. Yeah, you just stay down. Prick. <laughs> you leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. Looking closely at Rocco there, he looks a bit like my mate. Let's get back to the In real life. And I don't mean Sam. I mean an actual mate of mine. That. I mean Sam goes to school. He used to go to school with me, and so there's this other mate that was in the same year as me. Kian. Now we're gonna intimidate these guys. Okay, basically we can drive like crazy. So yeah, this is the fun bit. We get to intimidate these guys by driving very dangerously. Good boy. Finally, you come to your set. I'll take you to the studio. Oh, I like this bit in the OST. Hey, Milton, watch. I think you owe an apology to Mr. Richards. Would I be paid? No, you should apologize to me. A brutal honesty, bud. You're not that good. It feels phoned in. You're lucky you're working at all. Okay, we just got a land miss.
Now let's go to Solomon's office. Solomon's office. Come on. Oh, it's an alien. I know it's a man in the suit. God's sake, Anton. Hey, what Solomon! Anton, my boy! You're an artist, I know that! And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya! So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Ah, hell yeah. Okay. Now, in the next part, we'll be doing the mission I Fought the Law. See you then.